Real Racing 3 is the best looking and best playing sim racer to ever hit phones or tablets, and it's available as a free download. It hooked me right from the start, and it turned a casual race fan like myself into an expert that was able to thread through intense corkscrew turns. The freemium pricing can sometimes frustrate, but I've spent more than 30 hours in Real Racing 3, and I haven't spent a cent. This is a game that truly can be played for free. The car models in Real Racing 3 are absolutely gorgeous. I'm not exactly sure how the wizards at Fire Monkeys are even able to pull it off. 46 cars from manufacturers like Porsche, BMW, and Ford are recreated with an incredible level of detail. The tracks themselves aren't as impressively detailed, but it's hard to complain when they're flying by at over 200 miles per hour. All of Real Racing 3's tracks are based on real-world locations, and the attention to detail really pays off. There's no substitute for flying down Laguna Seca straightaway before mashing the brake to barrel through its famed corkscrew turn. No matter which of the seven control options you're using, Real Racing 3's cars feel responsive and distinct. New players can turn on casual friendly features like brake and steering assists, but to post the best times, you'll need to switch to full manual control. Real Racing 3's unique time-shifted multiplayer keeps you motivated to continue improving your lap times. The game records and uploads everyone's race data, and then it downloads that info into your copy of the game. So your 21 AI opponents are powered by the race data provided by your friends and other players. It's a seamless and very clever system. Beating a random AI is no big deal, but when that AI is powered by your friend's lap time, that's a different story. Real Racing 3 isn't afraid to punish you severely for your mistakes if you push it too hard, though. It's exhilarating when you absolutely nail a turn, threading a corner at the highest speed possible without spinning out. But misjudge things even a little, and Real Racing 3's realistic physics will send you flying into the wall or into a wild fishtail. Mistakes like this don't just send you to the back of the pack. After racing, you'll often have to perform repairs or maintenance on your car. This can take anywhere from a minute or two up to several hours but players can pay up to skip these wait times. This is the main way that EA makes money with Real Racing 3, along with a few paid high-end cars and upgrades. These wait times do suck, but they become less of an issue the more that you play. When one car is in for repairs, you can still race with any other vehicles that you own. So once you get a decent-sized garage, they stop becoming a problem. Real Racing 3 is the best sim racer ever released on a phone or tablet. The wait times are frustrating, but it's a much better freemium system than introducing gameplay ruining power-ups. This is a must download for car enthusiasts and casual fans alike. For more on Real Racing 3 and all the hottest mobile games, keep it locked to IGN.